Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, still out at the Tremania Station. Uh, astronaut Catherine Richards, I think it was her last name, the research scientist, is adrift aimlessly in space. Her RCS pack is out of fuel, and it's um, a tragedy because I, I screwed up a bunch of stuff. So our other research scientist, uh, Dieta, last name I'm not going to pronounce, is uh, has been transferred over to the habitation module, which was where Catherine was heading when her RCS pack ran out. We have topped off its life support supplies. We have given it fuel because that seems to be an issue. And you can see poor Catherine out there, that little white speck near the top center of the screen. But no worries. Deanna, last name I'm not going to try to pronounce, is on her way. So uh, I'll just nudge this. Uh, well, those are some mighty sturdy solar panels. I have no idea how that, those did not break. Well, all right. Okay, so let's let's adjust this angle. Let's at least get pointed somewhat at the target. Uh, I have to remember that this is Catherine and Diana's first mission was their deployment to this station, and uh, this is what has happened. <laughs> so I feel extra, extra horrible about them having just the worst spaceflight experience possible. Alright, so I'm going to speed up a bunch of this because it's, uh, well, really the reality of it is, is that I got very caught up in actually trying to pilot and forgot to talk. So I've removed a bunch of things, and I'm just going to let uh, new me here do a bunch of this narration. This is our initial approach to Catherine with the habitation module. Uh, we're just trying to speed out there as quickly as possible. She has roughly a day of life support uh, in her EVA, or in her spacesuit, which gives us some time, but that time goes by a lot faster than you think it does, uh, especially when you have to start flying to the target. She is spinning wildly around, which is going to make trying to rendezvous or get any kind of close to her absolutely horrible. But uh, we've almost got ourselves lined up. I'm just going to try to ease a little bit closer. We just need to... Oh, no. I think... Uh, that's a miss. That's uh, a definite miss. Uh, this is extra difficult because you can't really set a targeting reticle for a adrift uh, astronaut. Oh, no, we're this angle is deceptive. We're actually much, much further away from her than uh, we actually think that we are. See, yeah. So now that we've pretty much matched our velocities. I've done the best that I can with uh, such a wildly erratic target. And there she is, just chattering away. I can only imagine the string of expletives that are streaming through the radio right now. Because uh, that's what I would be saying. Alright, so we're just going to try to correct a little bit. This is just uh, nudge, 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 nudge. The fact that she's twirling makes it extra difficult to try to get an exact bead on her relative motion, which means it's hard for me to get a relative bead on her motion. And this only has three-way symmetry on all of these silly thrusters, so it's a little more difficult than I expect. But we're almost there. I'll turn you back over to old me. All right. Oh, is she going to hit the hab? Yeah, that's going to throw her off a bit. God. Mm. Gently. All right, let's get you around the hab module. No, no. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Um, oh, she's a lot closer than I thought. Yep. Well, that's not going to do us any good, is it? Dang it. Wrong switch. Switch it back. Come on. 
There we go. Alright, yeah, this is it. Yeah. It's not going to bring up a grab button. I was hoping maybe we could climb something. Oh, well. Alright, well, she's spinning a whole lot less. That's good. And she's a lot closer. Oh, why did I put only three thrusters on this thing? That was dumb. Alright, let's try to catch her in this door. Maybe we'll have more luck if that hab isn't quite in the way. Garbage collection. Thanks, KSC. Alright. Okay. Easy now. Nope. Back it up. Back it up. Okay. Nope. Yeah, see, there's a little bit of induced roll here. This hab module was obviously never designed for rescue operations. Although that is now something to consider. This is a, a first for me. Okay. Easy. Yep. All right. Let's bring her in. Yep. Back it up just a little bit. Yep. Still chattering away. Please don't think less of me, Catherine. I can't remember your last name. I think it's Richards. Dr. Richards. All right. Bump. Bump. Nope. Break. Bump. Bump. All right. Just get you close to the door. All right. Almost. Come on. Yes. Forward. There's a bump. Oh, wait. She's way far away than I thought. And yeah. Bump. No. Still no grab. Still no fuel. Life support looks pretty good, though. Well, that's nice. Ugh. Everything gets ladders all the way around it from here on out. All right, I'm going to tuck away these hab. Maybe we'll get uh, better control authority, and maybe we'll stop knocking our poor astronaut uh, off of this rendezvous. If we have those things just kind of out of the way... Oh man, this actually feels worse. How is this possible? Ugh. Hmm. I mean, the mass figure should be the same. Oh, I guess since they're... It moves the center of mass lower because the mass of the halves it expands out from the center line? I don't quite understand it. Sorry about that. Alright, so, yeah, see, now it's got a little bit of pitch to it. When we're trying to move laterally, this is, oh, God. I've been at this for, like, two hours. Come on. <laughs> Alright, nice and easy. Slow it down. Slow it down. Even it out, right about somewhere in here ish. Oh, come on, come on, grab something. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, that was dumb. Par for the course. Pretty much. All right, let's do this again. We did it once. Just have to remember to switch to the correct thing. Okay. Take a deep breath. You can do this. Nice and easy. Just a tippy tap. A tippy tappy tippy tap. All right. Come on. Easy now. Just a little bit. Over, over. Come on. Gotcha. Yes! Yes! Oh, she's on! Oh! Whoo! <sighs> we got her. She is safely tucked into the hab. Whoo! Okay. Never again. <laughs> Holy. Wow. 
Okay, well, there's the station. Huh? Well, let's, uh, let's get them home. Or to the station. Whichever. And uh, I've sped all this up for you because um, I was getting a little worn out and not being able to use the time warp features certainly makes this return leg a lot longer than it has uh, any right to be, I should say. But we'll uh, switch our control port to the forward one and just make a nice, long, easy coast back to the station. I'm still pretty upset about not being able to use the time warp features. <clears throat> when this close to docking and to doing these docking maneuvers. Um, super aggravating, because I also can't think about uh, much to talk about other than, yes, let's extend the halves. Uh, I'm, yeah, can't uh, switch them around in between the halves, connected living space that I'm entirely, not entirely sure how to use. But, uh, I guess I'll figure that out later. Right now I need to concentrate on making sure things have fuel before they are undocked. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and kill off some of our relative inclination, or relative speed, sorry, uh, as we make our approach and get ourselves kind of lined up for one of our new docking ports on our Skylab module, which is uh, where I intend to dock all the things from here on out. All those extendable arms were a neat idea, but uh, just not very practical, I guess. I don't know, we could still probably dock a shuttle to it. I just wish I had a rototron so I could rotate the angle of the wrist pin. Anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So we'll scrape some paint there because uh, at this point I was really tired and really just uh, wore out. So my piloting skills are definitely starting to suffer uh, as far as my mental fatigue from all of this incessant screwing up. All right, and there, yeah, almost. Come on, come on. No, oh, that's why. Derp. All right, let's bring that angle down. There we go. How about now? Docked. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> well, I'm sure the crew here is uh, very happy to be home. However, we have. Uh, another job to do. So we're going to uh, get one of them back here in the lab so that they can continue the scientific research that is super important to everything. We are going to refuel the HAB module and go get ourselves a docking arm because, you know, that just needs to happen, I guess. All right, so life support and uh, fuel is all topped off. Well, I mean, it will be eventually, by the time I finish the sentence or so. Well, all right. Still not quite, but we're going to get there. Promise. All right. There's our docking arm. Where is it in relation to the station? Okay. So just uh, head directly away from the sun. Hmm. Yeah, it, it really helps to unlock the hinges before you start trying to uh, move them around. But we're going to go ahead and uh, put this thing into its stick formation first before we attempt to try a docking with it. Yeah, almost close enough. There we go. That'll just make it a lot easier to maneuver and hopefully keep all of its, I don't know, once we dock with it, we can put some fuel into its tank and then use its thrusters, hopefully, to aid us in this whole endeavor. At least that was my plan. So, uh, once again, into the breach. Now uh, we'll take our HAB module turned rescue craft turned uh, mistake solver <laughs> up to the task and there's our arm I don't really know if you guys can see it it's still very tiny uh, on tiny screens really just a couple of very shadowy pixels there somewhere near the pointer uh, I'll just hold that there at least I think I did so uh, I'm certainly getting impatient now so we're going to uh, just floor it, peg the throttle, and now that we can actually use our targeting system, there it is, my mistake, editing in post, uh, of course, I'm going to get things wrong sometimes. So, we're making a very fast approach. So, we're just going to try to 
zero that out as much as we can and then uh, make our approach now the I don't know the initial plan here is to dock with it and then uh, take it back to the station dock the arm with the station and then go redock the hab module which uh, really means that I need to be on the other side of this thing because uh, the side with the Agena core is the side that I would like closest to the station. It has the strut thingies on it that I can attach to stuff. And that's Doggo's barking in fast forward. Sorry about that. So we want to be on this side because this is the side that will be docking with uh, any incoming spacecraft or cargo modules or resupply missions, etc., etc. So this is the side we want facing away from the station. So we'll just uh, get ourselves a little lined up here. So many dockings in so few episodes. You'd think maybe I'd be getting a little better. I am not, obviously. All right, so there it is. That's a solid dock. All right, so we're going to transfer some fuel. Yep, we've got a good response on half our thrusters, just uh, not these down here. For whatever reason, I can't quite discern. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and truck this thing back up to the station. Uh, not a short haul by any means. And the uh, fun problem I'm certainly having uh, a little bit of issues with is that the thrusters on the Agena core side are not firing which is creating a uh, one hell of an imbalance as far as being able to maneuver this thing laterally. It's, uh, it's not really a thing. As you can see, it pitches up or down wildly depending on which direction I'm trying to go because all the thrusters are basically just on one side. Uh, I think the center of mass is actually going to be just above the lower docking port at this point. Um, that docking arm really just doesn't have a whole lot to it other than a fuel tank. Uh, which I pumped fuel into for absolutely no reason whatsoever. The transfer seems to work just fine. But uh, either way, it's making it very difficult to maneuver laterally, so that's why I'm making this uh, kind of a swing. Put the thrusters uh, where I need them to be, line up with my docking port of my choosing, and swing right past it. Um, I am tired and frustrated and kind of done with this whole multiple dockings ordeal so I've decided that for the time being I am just going to dock the HAB module at its uh, designated place uh, at, at the one from its top docking port bleh that's what I was trying to say uh, I will fuel up the docking arm later uh, make sure that I have solid connection and then maneuver it of its own accord to the other side of the station uh, after making sure that it has fuel in radio contact. So, uh, we're finally at the point where we can get ourselves lined up. If only we could maneuver laterally in a, in a somewhat smooth fashion with us dangling docking umbilical hanging beneath us. Anyway, uh, we've got ourselves lined up. I've got the orientation I like with the uh, hab pods swung out to the sides like that, or at least to where they won't be interfering with everything, we've got solid heart dock. And there it is. The crisis is over. All of our astronauts are safely back aboard the station. All of the station pieces have been returned to it in some form or another. I am so happy to have this ordeal done and over with, to be very honest. So that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it and for putting up with my blatant stupidity. I'll see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.